Howdy, howdy, guys. Welcome to <clears throat> Grim Gaming. This is Grim. Today we're playing some GeoGuessr. And uh, we're going to work on our daily challenge. Uh, we currently are at 65 days in a row. And we are going to attempt to, uh, well, we are going to get to 67 or 66, if I can count. Um, and yeah, so. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Um, as always, the daily challenge is a world map. We do have three minutes per round to move, pan, or zoom. As always, I will give my thoughts before I move. Um, and yeah, let's get started. Uh, so this is going to be Turkey here. Uh, we've got uh, Turkish uh, language. Mountains over there. Trying to look for some sort of signs or something. Is this uh, road blocked? Nope. All right. Got to move past it. Looks like they're widening the road or something like that. Some Turkish bollards on the sides. Um, not really sure what that is. Anatolia Cass. So let's keep that in mind. Let's keep that in mind. So Anatolia is like, I believe, a region. Like, uh, so Cass could be a city. We've got Cass on this uh, trash can again. And we've also got Kinnick, which was on another sign back there. Um, I do have a little bit of time, so let's see if there may be an actual directional sign that might help us out. But otherwise, I will skip. There's a blue sign right there. I will skim the map for Cass and Kinnick. Uh, also, we're going to be looking for Mugla and Faith Fethia. Yeah, Fethia and D400. So let's go ahead and zoom into Turkey. Got cars. I'm looking for CAS van. Cars and van. That's hilarious. Malatya. What was that again? Mugla. We got a Fethia here, which is north of us. And I've also got a Cass and Kinnick. Um, let's see here. We are on a fairly north south. So this is the D four hundred. This section here makes a little bit more sense with the um, the road direction. So let's see what I've got here goes off this way. Does it curve around a... Oh, shit. Ran out of time. I, I was further south. So I was, uh, like, it was going this way. Um, I should have moved it down there. I was trying to tell if it was up here or down here. That thing. I just ran out of time. Um, overall, not bad. I actually probably could have 5K'd that um, if I was a little faster. Um, but I did lose 12 points. So, uh, yeah, so we're going to be in Indonesia more than likely. So we've got a city here. Tagal, uh, Jalan something. We're, we're not on this road, I don't think. Um, looking like that might say Tagal as well. McDonald's. 
Okay, so let's uh let's go ahead and look for Tagal. Citro and Tagal. Okay, yeah. So let's go ahead and look for Tagal. See if it is where it is right there. And we are on a fairly major road going east west. It looks like a fairly major road going north south. There's a McDonald's right there. I wonder if this is it. Uh, Sinopolis. This is it KFC. I don't see a KFC, I see a Pizza Hut here, Pizza Hut there, and a McDonald's there, so that's a McDonald's. That makes sense. Um, I don't know what this stuff is, a Hotel Maya. Hotel Maya, okay, yeah, so we should be in this intersection right here. Nice. All right. All right, and the next one. So this should be Albania. We've got double blue plates. They are not. Um, they are not the uh, skinny ones, thin ones. We also got whiffs. We've got Vlor right here, um, which may, uh, I believe Vlor is a, we got a building right here as well. Shit, what building? All right, so we've got Barat, which is another city, I'm pretty certain. Vlor is, I believe, a city. Let me just check here. Yeah, so Vlor is this city, and Barat's here. Um, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna think it's probably Barat with the fact that. Uh, um, where is it? Okay, so Raruga, Fanoli, and Antipatri. Antipatria here. Um, which way are we going? We're going fairly east west. So it's not there. I don't see a river. Not here. I'm not really seeing. Right here for right now. Let me check Just for another road, maybe. Because I'm not seeing that. And this is the. Um, the direction it should be based on uh, how the road is facing. Um, what does this say? Antipatria again. Try to get to another road here. So it turns up this way. That's probably there. So I'm probably somewhere like right here. Let me, uh, what am I, I'm on a road, but what is this road? Shit. Alright, well I was, okay, there's this road here. This road apparently doesn't have a name, so it wouldn't have helped me anyway. Where was the other one at? Is that this one? I'm not sure if that... There might have been this one. Yeah, I think it might have been this one here was there... Uh, 
was that big building with the rot on it. Um, which, I don't know, like the road, I, I looked at, like I, I would have had a, like, a exact on right there if this road had been named the same as what the actual sign shows. Still, that's a 5K. Um, so I'm definitely, uh, definitely happy with that one. All right, so we're in Indonesia again. Uh, Bromo, Indonesia. Lava View Lodge. So there's a large, uh, uh, large volcano here. Uh, looks like some lava flats. Um, let's check. Um, Skim over the SAR Palong Naman Arjun. There's a Bromo right here. So I'm assuming Bromo is where we're at here. Where is Bromo from here? The actual mountain is south. So we should be up maybe over this direction. There's a Lava View Lodge right here, which is where we are at. Um, yeah, so we should be pretty close to that. A little far off, but yeah. That was actually pretty fast. Um, like I said, I, I saw the, the name of the, the mountain, the volcano, and... Uh, you know, just skimming around the uh, country to find it works. What do we got here? Uh, this should be... I'm not going to go that way. That's way too bright. This looks like it is Mexico, perhaps. Um, with the... Uh, usually the other Latin American countries don't have huge metal... Uh, Mexico has those, but they also have like the uh, shit. McAllen. All right, so McAllen is actually Texas. Um, I've been to McAllen, Texas before. So this is going to be northern Mexico, like I was thinking. So McAllen is right here. So we're in northern Mexico. Um, let me just click right here. We're on an east-west road, so bear that in mind. Um, we might be on 40 right here. Because uh, this looks like, you know, like if it's got a big, uh, if it's got a big bus on it, it's probably a main road. Unfortunately, the kilometer markers don't have any information. If it is a big road, there should be some signs. Seeing some uh, overhead signs up here, so this we might not be on that. What does this actually say? Secretary of Communications and Transportation. Uh, I'm seeing some signs right there. Right, what do we got here? Uh, Monterey. Monterey Journal Bravo. What does this say up here? Nothing. Oh, what does this one say though? Reynosa and General Bravo. Right, so Reynosa, right, so General Bravo. Um, 
we actually look like we're on this intersection right now. So we came off of here, something like that. I don't remember how far off I went. Oh shit, 2.2 miles. Uh, okay, so we were on this road here, all right, yeah. Um, shit, all right. Yeah, there's the bridge we went over. I spent too much time on that. I was on the wrong road. Hmm. All right. Well, that's it. Um, it was not a perfect round, but it was pretty good. Uh, I lost points in only two countries, Turkey and Mexico, 24.976. Yeah, so, and I got 2.2 uh, miles on both of those, so not too bad. Um, total of 4.5 miles, uh, really not bad. Um, funny enough, the two Indonesia rounds were my fastest and my best. Um, right? Because that was three? Yeah, okay. Yeah, so uh, the two Indonesia rounds were the, um, were the fastest ones. I did both of those in under three minutes. It's crazy. Usually Indonesia and Malaysia are really difficult, uh, at least if you're out in the middle boondocks. Um, thankfully, the Tagal one was uh, like right there in the city with everything. I didn't even have to move. Uh, and this one here, like I said, just looking for the little, uh, little mountains, yeah, because they got all the little mountains like this. Um, there's probably some, if I zoom in a little bit more, they might show up, but, uh, and, uh, yeah, so, like, you'll see, like, they'll say mount something sometimes, and sometimes they'll say gnung, uh, but, uh, they're all, like, you know. I don't know that what Ganung means other than mountain, maybe. This one's different, but yeah, like I said, uh, if you see a volcano uh, with a name, you know the name of it. Um, yeah, like I said, there's, because uh, that's Mount Bromo, and there's some Miru here. So, like, I, it's possible I would have been able to overlook it, but thankfully there's this, there might be another one, ten, Tinder? This has Bromo, Tenger, Samiru. Samiru is right here. Bromo is here. That's not a mountain. I don't know where Tamiru is. Uh, judging by the name of this, I would assume there's three three mountains. It could be this one here. It doesn't have a name on it though. With the relief it's, you know, looking like it could be. Or over here maybe. I'm not sure. Wait a second. Alright, so it looks like maybe is this this is Tinger here. I don't know, maybe it's, I, I, I'm, I'm putting too much thought into this. Um, could I have 5 k Yes, I could have. I could have 5 k would Turkey um, if I wasn't an idiot. Um, I was trying to match road uh, direction. Although I didn't really have a lot of time once I found stuff that I, you know. Uh, Cass was actually something I found like right off the bat. So I could have... Could have found Cass pretty easily, but I wouldn't have known where in Cass around that area. So I think finding the uh, the sign for Fethia and Kinnick uh, in a couple places was, uh, I guess, if I had like, because Kinnick was in the same spot as Cass on both times. So if I'd found Cass, I could have zoomed in. 
and found Kinnick and assumed maybe that it was this straight portion of the road and I wouldn't have needed Fethia, that would have saved me enough time. I probably could have 5 k this. Um, possibly. I don't know. Live and learn. Live and learn. Um, and then the... The Mexico one, I spent too much time, uh, I spent too much time, uh, I guess, finding information and guessing the wrong, like, I got confused over here, I went back this direction, um, and, uh, got the wrong road. I don't know that I, like, it would have been difficult to 5k, in my opinion, um, the only thing I can think of is if I spent less time looking around at the poles to mention that, and if I had completely skipped the trucks. Because I was trying to look at trucks. It only took seconds, though. Um, like I said, the bus, I, I, the bus helped me out because it, you know, it told me it was like up this area here. So I was like, the bus actually put me on the right road, basically. You know? um, not quite the right road. Uh, like I said, with McAllen, and I was on a, a big, you know, east-west road, kind of going northeast, uh, it put me on the right road, so that bus was definitely helpful. Uh, General Bravo, um, I saw that on sign, I didn't really, uh, didn't really get a chance to pinpoint very well, um, like I said, I just, just don't know that I could have 5k'd it, but I'm sure somebody could have uh, legitimately. So I could definitely see this being a legitimate 25k if somebody, you know, clicked faster, processed faster, uh, whatever. So, but anyway, I did not, but I did get 66 days in a row, and I did hit 24,976. Um, so I've been actually doing pretty good. I've averaged over 24K on all days this month so far, which is really, really good. So uh, it's a really nice streak. But anyway, I appreciate you guys for watching, and thank you very much, and have a good one.